Can you talk a bit about uh, newer opportunities that may have come up? I mean, not new in the sense that but something that was probably not some uh, a very commonplace conversation five years ago or something like that right. and now is becoming more frequent uh, courtesy of shark tank uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've seen uh, uh, there's been a lot of interest around investing in startups uh, okay i think in some sense startup investing has got legitimized uh, and we are seeing a lot of that happen uh, across the board people are actually seeking out opportunities to invest in startups uh, there is, however, one problem, which is that uh, what I call adverse selection. What ends up with the HNIs or uh, sort of common folks like you and me, more often than not, are instruments which have been sort of rejected by multiple layers of investors, right? So, if I were a founder raising capital, mm -hmm. I would first go to the top tier VC, then go to second tier micro VCs, and so on. Right. Then, if I'm not able to raise capital, I will end up with uh, individual investors, right? Uh, and that is the adverse selection issue. What we are trying to do there, Neeraj, is to solve that. How do we get hmm. uh, folks like HNIs or even common working professionals to invest alongside the top tier funds and leverage our relationships in the ecosystem to be able to do that? So, but having said that, in general, there is a lot of interest in uh, startup investing, backing early stage companies, uh, and I think that's very healthy long term for India. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. May I ask, how are you doing this? I mean. So, uh, look, we have a lot of relationships uh, uh, you, through our cap table. Uh, so, we have uh, some of the longest tenured VCs invested in Deserve. Uh, so, we work very closely alongside them. Uh, secondly, uh, we have a bunch of over 26 founders who are angels in Deserve and they are active investors uh, themselves. So, in a sense, this ecosystem ensures that we get access to the deals.